And today we're going to be looking at this uh, old Fortine unit. I believe it's the first company. That's what the air handler is anyways. Uh, yeah. Brand is kind of missing, but I'm almost 100% sure. Uh, as you can see, it's, you know, uh, it's the same one with the blower motor replacement. Uh, 88. Yeah. Uh, 1988 was definitely the uh, data manufacturer on the air handler, so I'm assuming this was installed at the same time. And uh, it's just a little low on charge today. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, wasn't when I was over here the other day. I noticed it was uh, suction line was kind of warm and it wasn't cooling very well. So uh, throw some gauges on it. I'm suspect just probably some leaking trader cores. So uh, I should be able to get on those with the no loss tool. Uh, maybe a little close there. Might have to pump it down for these two. But these two I can get. Those are uh, the I think true uh, true suction and uh, and discharge right there. And then these are just the, the line set, obviously. Oh, a little funkiness there. But yeah, overall this unit's been running for a long time with a few issues, so. Our uh, suction line temperature, 70, 72 and a half, somewhere in there. I did go ahead and clean the copper up before clamping that on, by the way. I'm not sure if that makes a massive amount of difference but it seems like it should be a clean contact so with, uh, with that whatever that is 30 30 degree uh, saturation temperature yeah you know 40 degrees of super heat might be a little bit much so we'll go ahead and throw some charge in there head pressures down a bunch yeah. see what this whole thing can do some liquid gold some freon. Actually, this actually is freon. You got an old tank. Seventy seven inside right now. That's about it. 64 and a half, 64, uh, yeah, around 64. So, yeah, only getting a 12 degree split or something. I know it can do better than that. Got that little bastard out of there. Okay, I've added about a pound of charge thus far. Suction line temperature is slowly but steadily dropping. Suction pressure up to about 60, 62, something like that. Head pressure's up to almost 200. 70, 80, 90. Just short of 200 there. So we still got a ways to go. I could probably add another pound of charge without hurting anything. But we'll uh, still try that. Here's my little handy dandy calculator here. And I already set the outdoor temperature at about 80. And uh, the indoor is about 75. That, ended, that was telling me about 12 degrees super heat would be ideal. So, let's see, suction line pressure is actually. Yeah, it probably will be up to 68 by the time we charge it a little more. So, 
ultimately we're going to be start looking for a suction line temperature about 52 degrees or so, I think, with that suction pressure. Old school. It's 20, 20 degrees right there and dropping, 20 degrees split. And I stopped short, just short of adding another pound, or pound 14 and a half this is there, uh, but I noticed the suction line. You know how it is once it starts getting close to the sweet spot, the suction line temperature drops pretty quick. Refrigerating boy. <laughs> yeah, so that's getting pretty close to the sweet spot. I don't want to over overcharge it, so that's probably going to be about right. Yeah. Anywhere between 49 and 54 is going to be pretty sweet for what we're doing, I think. Off the condenser there. Steady. There, that's good. Yeah, we both lost about 53 degree section line. Yeah, up a little bit, come up a little bit. I might go ahead and actually add that extra two ounces. Let's see. Let's go see what the supply temperature is inside. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so our suction pressure is a little above 70 there. Yeah, I'm thinking 72 is probably pretty good estimate and uh, like I said all uh, all the other things being the same suction line pressure up to 72 our target superheat being 12 uh, somewhere uh, somewhere we're definitely in there about 51 degree suction line there so very nice. Overshot it a little bit, I guess, but uh, uh, I think this little piston, uh, piston style thing, definitely close enough. So yeah, we're getting uh, getting at least you know nine degrees of superheat, which is plenty. If you have any superheat, you're not putting the compressor in in danger. So we're, uh, I think we're looking pretty good with that. Um, yeah, so easy. Easy leak repair and uh, recharge. Ooh, beer can cold, baby. But I've heard that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thanks for checking in. There's the final score, 56 and a half, which is at least a 20 degree split. I haven't checked the ambient in here, but the return, so beautiful. <laughs>